Welcome back everybody, in this video I'll be starting to make Dead Dungeon. It's clear that that was the game from my last video that you guys wanted to see the most. Uh, Office Combat was uh, close second and Blackjack was surprisingly close behind as well. Uh, but I will definitely start on Dead Dungeon and I'm going to do this as quick as I can and the idea is that I, I start simple and I can easily improve it based on you know how the, how it goes. So first things first, uh, I'm just going to put my name here. And uh, I'm going to put some scenes together of what I, how I want it to be laid out. So first things first, we have the menu. Uh, and then what we want to have is, I'll call this menu. And then we'll have, I'm going to have to think hard about this. Of I'm going to be designing this as we go. I'll, I might, as the games like come together, I will, you know, make it more uh, like tutorial based. But for now, we're just starting from scratch, and it'll be, you know, how you take your game from nothing to something. So, first of all, we, ha we have what we think is a menu, and then we want a scene. Um, so, here I would ask myself, do I want the, the player to choose a character, uh, and how does the game begin? And I think they should start in a little... I think they should just begin. I think I'll make a character myself, and that is the character so that I can easily update the, you know, attack animations uh, and it be within the scene limit. Uh, so keep with that in mind, I'm just going to have this as, you know, level one. Uh, and the idea will be they spawn in, they get told what to do. Uh, and then I want them to, like, move forward. And, and basically this, although it will be, you know, procedural dungeons or random dungeons, uh, I want it to be pretty... You know, at the start, it'll be like, this is what you do to begin, and this is how you get something. Um, but obviously, this is all open to change, so I'll call this uh, Learn to Fight, I'll call it. So just like in our Zelda thing, we had a, the cats. So this will be the kind of same thing where there's like one enemy, and then this is where they get introduced to it. So we've now got the menu. The first level and then learn to fight bit and then i want them to go into like a you know like you know how in the in the zelda like dungeon thing we were making i mean yeah but in the tutorial series before we had like a a cave entrance i, I want to have the same thing here and that's where i want it all to begin so i'm going to actually set up like this where we have the menu the first level and then the uh the cave entrance so once they go in the cave entrance i want it to be random uh or technically random as in the the sense that they don't know which one they're gonna get so we're gonna have a couple here and we're just gonna lay them out maybe we can start with three different ones keep it very simple uh and if we i was thinking that this game is is mainly based on the enemy types and possibly the level design. I'm not quite sure. Um, I could make it so if they fall through the ground or something, then, you know, like if, if they're up high, then... Okay, so let's, let's backtrack a bit. Uh, I was thinking, you know, in the Zelda games, there's like these um, bits of black that, you know, you, you know are a hole. And if you fall down it, then it, you basically die. But what would happen is you fall down it, and you get taken back to the start. And I think that's how I want this game to work. Um, so that you're trying to avoid the enemies a bit, and also there's something to make you go back to the start, and maybe when you die, you come back to uh, the learn to fight bit, maybe the first level. And I think maybe there'll be an upgrades shop thing, you know, like a town. Um, so first things first, I'm going to make a character model you know like a pixel art guy and i'm gonna make a tile set i think so obviously because this is for the competition i'm gonna make it all from scratch so let's open up gimp uh creating a new file actually what i'm gonna do is open up a template from the game okay so i'm opening up the actor animated.png <laughs> And what this means is that I will have it exactly set up how it should be. Uh, so now I can uh, show the grid and I can put the image 
our configure grid to 8 instead of 16. And now here we can edit what we want. So I, I'm thinking it, we want it to be a knight, but I think it should have a face to be more characterful. So I'm just going to put that in. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm just going to wipe this. So put it all green. Make a new layer. And now we can do our work on this layer. Okay, so we have to keep it within the 16 by 16. I want the face to be the, the main part, just so it has a lot of character. Let's make the silhouette, I think. So let's turn off. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've got the head shape. We want some feet shape. I think what I might do with this game is actually shrink down the character sprites and make them more like I want it I want it to be in color mode so I can have more control over the sprites. So what I'm going to do is actually going to shrink them down. And what this does is means that we can have uh, like bigger enemies and it will be more uh impressive so to say. So here we have our little guy here. I think that is a, it's a nice shape. Okay, so now I'm going to add the color. And we need to remember that we have only, I think it's light green, white, and black. And obviously in color mode we can change this, but yeah, that we need to just keep that in mind. So the original idea of having the the face have uh, you know very big and expressionful I don't think works with this style so I'm gonna shrink it down and it'll be ooh this is giving me a great idea this looks like a skeleton maybe our main character should be a skeleton that would be kind of different. Okay, so now how do I represent a skeleton? I mean, that's kind of cute. I think that actually, I think this will be really interesting actually. If we, if we focus the game on the character being like a undead thing, that's kind of different. Um, I haven't ever done anything like that before and it kind of breaks my style and I kind of like that. Uh, so let's just copy this guy around. Actually if we open up the same thing again as we did last time, um, we can see which way the arrows face. Okay so I, that just reminded me as well I need to save this. Okay so these two will be it walking so we need to kind of maybe maybe move the body down one hmm. I think if I you know opposite these feet I could even opposite the arms as well So then it looks like he's bobbing and his arms and legs are moving. Uh, and I can just copy and paste this and then take away his face for the opposite, I think. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think it matters about anything else. I think I'll maybe make his neck be green and then do this. Actually, spine might be a great idea. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, actually, a spine could be zigzag. I think that works. Uh, and now we want it to be looking to the right. So this will be a tiny bit different. Uh, but if we just copy these over again, we can use them for scale. 
Okay, so I think I want this to be like this. Let's have this under here. The eye can go here. Nope, it's looking like it's looking the wrong way. Um, maybe if we remove this. Ah, yes, that's actually a great idea. I need to pick it up and move it one to the right, I think. And then if I do the same with the body. There, yeah. I think if I make the arm green, it could work. Where should it start, though? Okay, the arm goes down to here. That works. That definitely works. Now for the legs. Okay, um... Uh, do I want it to make it look like he's standing or that he's walking? I guess this is gonna be the walking animation and I can have I could have something else for the idol um, but let's just see how it goes okay so this arm is forward so that means this leg is back actually do we want a one leg in light and the other one in dark I'm not sure I like that, but I think I'm going to stick with it because it makes sense. And I'm just going to copy... Actually, I'll delete this. And I'll copy that over. And move this whole bit down. And then I'm going to invert this. And then we technically have what looks like... A walking guy. So let's save that and I'll export it into it. Okay, so now if we if we click here and we can see the player sprite sheet, we can see skeleton animated, fantastic. And then I'm gonna change the player actually I'll change the background color. So now in color mode and you want a kind of dark color. So, I think that's not going to be okay. Okay, I think that's fine. So I'll just press start. It might take a second to run, but let's see what it looks like. Okay guys, it took a while to build, but while it was uh, building, I had an idea. Oh, okay, let's first talk about this. Okay, so because we're in color mode, it, uh, you know, the... Um, because we're in color mode, the sprite is, you know, the reddish colors, uh, and we I'll probably change that to be more gray. Uh, and I can already tell that the leg, I made it go the, the, the red one is the wrong way. I should make the red one be the opposite of the hand. Uh, see how it looks like it's flapping like a seal or something? Not that great. Uh, but it, it seems to do the job, and it looks kind of good when it's walking towards and away from us. So it's definitely something to try and fix with the left and right. Um, yeah, but while while it was uh, loading, I I was thinking about this character, and I actually had a great idea of what the story could be. Uh, I think if we are a skeleton, then that means we are dead. Maybe it should be that we are trying to get our soul back or our life back or something. You know, we are an adventurer, and uh, maybe we died. Yeah, like. I, Maybe he made a deal with the devil or something and he's trying to get back to Earth, but I think that would be a great idea if we are what looks like a bad guy, but we have a very, you know, meaningful journey to uh, try and get out of this place that we're in. So obviously this is all we have right now. We have a little character moving around on the screen. Um, I could obviously change the colors and I need to make stuff. Okay guys, so I've just gone into the palettes and I've I've created two new palettes, one called Skeleton, which has greys, and one called Level, which has just random colours. Actually, I'm going to change this, uh, maybe a dark red. And this is just because the palette, you know, the, of the background currently wasn't great. And you can see here in the palettes of this level, I've, I've chosen the one called Level. And I've also changed the player palette to Skeleton. So if you press play now, 
we're we're now the gray skeleton on the red background which actually i kind of like i think the uh that like blood red would be a great palette for this uh so yeah in the next episode i want to uh work on a tile set and also have some combat and also have some enemies but I, that might be split between the next three i'm not too sure how it's gonna go um but yeah dead dungeon was the winner and I will definitely be making the office combat one next because that was the most next one and the blackjack one probably after that. I will probably be doing them all at the same time so I will probably upload more. Uh, please comment on what you think of this stuff because I'm trying to you know be a bit different because uh, obviously I'm trying to make this stuff for the competition but I'm also wanting to you know benefit you guys and I obviously I could easily go off on my own and I could make all of these games but it, uh, it, I'm trying to bring some value to you guys. So yeah, I want to thank my patrons, they are uh, uh, on screen right now, and please like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and please leave a comment on what you think of this and what you want to see next. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.